Hi and welcome to Gamers Web. Um, today we're going to take a look at the Star Wars Legion Clone Wars core set for uh, Star Wars Legion from Fantasy Flight Games. Um, this is a game designed by Alex Davey who did the original Star Wars Legion game and this is the brand new one that's set in the Clone Wars era. So we're going to have a quick look at it. Um, okay, so um, looking at the back of the, book of the game we get our... Um, um, Grand Army of the Republic and our um, Separatist Alliance uh, forces. So you get battle droids, uh, B1 battle droids, um, droidicus and General Grievous for the Separatists. And for the um, Grand Army of the Republic, you get uh, two units of Clone uh, One Phase One Mark, fa Clone Phase One troopers, uh, a Bark Speeder, and also. Um, Obi Wan Kenobi. You also get two, droid two droidicas for the um, uh, separatists. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. Uh, you get uh, the dice, you get the cards, you get loads of tokens, and you get some of these barricades as well. So, without further ado, let's um, pop this open. Um, first of all, I'd like to give special thanks to the guys at Sixes to Hit um, for um, supplying this to review. Uh, well, I actually bought it from Sixes to Hit, but very thanks to them because I got it at a great price because I'm a member of the Art Games Club. Um, I got this at 25% off its retail value, which um, is a very good saving, as I'm sure you can agree. Okay, right, so I'm um, just going to pop it open and then we can have a look at the components uh, a little bit better. Okay, it's very tight because it's a brand new game. Okay, so um, we have a Learn to Play book, which um, is more or less the same as the Learn to Play book from um, the original Star Wars Legion. And this gives you more or less all the basic rules you need shows you how to assemble all your miniatures um, your movement tools and what have you and then how to set up um, the game itself um, how to put down objectives how to use the scenario generation cards how movement works how attack works how to use the range rulers and the movement rulers uh, all the basic things you need to play the game uh, and how to win the game um, and it's also got um, a quick reference guide on the back Okay, so um, next up we have a sheet of card counters. So um, the card counters we will be the, the double sided. Uh, these are for your deployment. These are for unit identification. Um, then we've got things like surge counters and um, uh, panic counters, um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, shields because the droid could use shields um and then we've also got um the counters for your your turn dial as in um the number of turns you're playing and these are the the unit counters themselves and as you look on the back they're double-sided so we have um core unit uh commander and uh support which are these icons and basically you pop those down face down in the bag or whatever you're drawing them from uh, and that gives you your draw pool uh, for you to use. Now, um, it's a little bit more in-depth than that, um, before anybody jumps down my throat. Uh, the draw system can be done blind, and you can actually uh, cheat a little bit with certain cards allow you to cheat. Okay, uh, right, so moving in, we don't have anything underneath. As you can see, it's just an empty box. Right, but we do have... Our range mo uh, movement rulers. Oh, sorry, yeah, move, uh, movement rulers. So these are ranges one, two, and three. And as you can see on the uh, little icon there, they've got three dashes, one dash, and two dashes uh, on that one. And basically, they go onto the bases of the figures. And you use measurement from from the unit leader to unit leader. Uh, those are your range icons. Um, we are now got to range five. There's only four in there, but if you've got um, any of the other Legion stuff or you get another set, you can always extend your range. And then we get down to the rest of our stuff. Um, we, we'll, I thought the cards were missing for a moment then. We have our um, cards for the characters and the units and um, their command cards and we also have our equipment cards uh, and skill cards so a lot of these you may have seen before if you've seen any of my Star Wars Legion unboxings um, but we'll just have a quick look through them uh, there is a list of everything you get in the the king so you get a couple of copies of Hunter, a couple of copies of, copies of Tenacity, Environmental Gear, Recon Intelligence, HQ Uplink, um, 
let's see, uh, long range jammers, Jedi mind trick, force reflexes. Some of these have got brand new art, like force guidance. Force guidance has got brand new art on it, uh, cause it's a brand new card. Um, there's only one of that. Battle meditation, hope, uh, fragmentation grenades, which are really good. And then we get the, tr the upgrades for the actual units. So the phase one clone troopers, B1 battle droids, uh, the Z6 phase trooper, uh, the DC-15 phase trooper, um, the E5C B1 butt trooper, and then the E6DR B1 trooper, and then um, the Annihilator for um, Grievous, and the different various upgrades for the uh, the Bark, and those I've just taken off the front, that's like the commanding presence and um, aggressive tactics that I've taken off the front. Okay, so um, that's the one set of cards, and we'll look at the miniatures last, because that's what most people want to see, including myself. Okay, so um, we have um, uh, new artwork for cards like Ambush. Get two of those, Push and Assault. Those are three generic cards that you get. And then there's also Standing Orders, which is one card that you always keep in your hand. These can all be uh, played and then won't come back into your hand. That comes back into your hand. And then we have um, the specific cards from uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi is one pip is hello there obi-wan can all begins gimbal nimble at the start of the activation phase uh all begins one aim one dodge and one standby or one surge token for each enemy at range one to two so if you get him right into the thick of things which is quite easy to do with obi-wan because he's a powerhouse when it comes to melee he can be very very difficult to take out once you play this card is two is knowledge in defense uh, which affects two troopers. Obi-Wan gains one dodge token for each friendly trooper unit at range one. Obi-Wan can use Guardian during a melee attack, so he can actually protect those troopers. Sorry, I'm actually pushing that too high up. And then you've got General Kenobi, which is Obi-Wan and two units. When Obi-Wan issues an order uh, to a unit, that unit gains one surge token for each friendly unit within range one of it. Um, again, it's um, a pretty good one for getting right up there uh, and getting stuck into battle because Obi-Wan is a powerhouse when it comes to close combat. Then we have uh, Trading Your Jedi Arts, which is Grievous' one card, which is um, Grievous can disengage and one dodge token gains one. Grievous gains disengage and one dodge token at the end of his activation he may perform an attack against each enemy at range one using the following weapon. So he uses uh, one red, two black and one white. And um, it's suppressive and versatile. That's uh, quite a nasty one. Again, he's a, he's a close combat guy, even though he has got a pistol. And then he's got Supreme Commander for his two-pip. Uh, Grievous gains one surge token for each other friendly trooper unit at range one. Whilst another friendly trooper unit has a face-up order token, it gains Guardian 2 and can use Guardian during a melee attack. Another good one. And then finally, crush them. Um, Grievous and two units. When Grievous issues an order... Uh, to a unit, that unit gains one surge token for each defeated enemy unit. That's the one that you want to hold on to uh, for as long as possible. And then we have our, um, I'm not going to look through these, but these are our scenarios and objectives. And then uh, conditions. So basically we play these down in three rolls of uh, three and um, you then dismiss um, one from each row until you're left with um, a scenario, an objective, and the conditions um, between you. Okay, so um, first up, we have um, Obi on the character cards, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's got jump one, uh, charge, guardian three, he's immune, pierce, so pierce cannot be used against him. He's master of the force one. He's got um, Sarasu Mastery, which is a Jedi stance. Uh, whilst defending you or using Guardian, if you spend a dodge token, um, you gain one, sur one surge uh, or crit, and the attacker suffers a one wound for each crit rolled. Uh, he's got a red defense dice, which is really, really good. He's got a health of three and a defense of... Uh, so health of six and a defense of three. And he's got a speed of two. He's got uh, Critical 2, Impact 2, and PS2. And on the back, we've got all his keywords, so Critical, Impact, and PS, and some great artwork. And then um, Phase 1 Clones Troopers, um, Fire Support, um, when another friendly unit performs a ranged attack, if you have a face-up or a token, each mini unit may add an eligible weapon to the attack pool. 
If you do so, uh, flip your order token face down, limit one fire support token per attack pool. So they've got um, attack of one and a defense of one, and they've got one red dice for defense, which red dice is the best for the defense. Um, they cost 52 points, and um, Obi-Wan was 175 points. And then, um, same again, no phase, clo tree, tree, clear, phase two, phase one clone troopers. Uh, the Bark Speeder um, cost 75 points. It's got an arsenal two, uh, cover one, speeder, red dice uh, for defense, and it's got uh, five wounds and three damage points, and it moves at speed of three. It's got a blaster rifle for the rider with a range of one to three, and it's got the twin light blaster cannons, fixed front, uh, one to three, white, red, and black dice, and it's fixed front. Um, and then we go on to the bad guys. We've got General Grievous. He's got Arsenal 2. Block. While defending, you can spend a dodge token and gain a crit or a defense. Uh, impervious. Whilst defending, if your attack pool has pierce X, which is the number of pierce, you roll that amount of dice extra. He's got Jedi Hunter. Uh, relentless and scale. And he is another powerhouse. He's got um, eight wounds and two defense. But he's also got... Um, I keep on saying defense, it's not defense, it's um, willpower or something like that. I'll have to look it up, it's been a while since I've, I've done an, an unboxing of one of these. Um, but he's got a speed of two, he's got trophy lightsabers, uh, which are attack one, uh, sorry, impact one and pierce one, and they both roll um, one red, two black, and one white die. And um, he's got impact, so he is actually immune to uh, pierce, I think, isn't he? Because he's got Pierce. Right, anyway. Um, we've got the B1 Battle Droids. They're 36 points. Uh, they've got an AI attack. Unless you have a face-up order counter, uh, your first action must be attack if available. And uh, they've got coordinate drop trooper. But they're on white die, and they've got one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and um, their bludgeon is one white, and their E5 blaster is one to three, and it's a white. And we've got two of those, both identical. And finally, got the Droidicas. Um, they're 100 points. They've got three um, health. They're on a white. Um, they've got a movement of one, um, whereas the Battle Droid's got a movement of two. Um, AI attack move, so they must move always instead of attacking. Uh, sorry, their first action must either be a move or attack. Uh, generator one, so Julian the end players flip one inactive shield token and they've got four shields and they wheel mode which basically means that they get cover two when they're in wheel mode and they also have a twin bla dual twin blaster cannons with uh, one red and two black suppressive, fixed front, immune, deflect and there they go on the back okay so that's the cards quickly looked at and what we're going to do now is have a look at the rest of the components okay so um there's lots and lots and lots of videos about you about um, Legion on uh, YouTube. I'm not going to teach people to suck eggs or anything like that. So um, I've got videos myself which explains this, how the game works. I've also, one of my very first videos was an unboxing of the original core box. So um, what I'm going to do is just skip over this. Um, those are your dice. Your dice have got surges, uh, crits, blanks and hits on them um so basically a surge allows you to re-roll dice or um do different things different effects and crits allow you to re-roll dice hits cause damage okay we have a block of eight of the um barriers again these uh, i've shown those before uh we have our bases which uh, this time are in um, blue and uh, form core. Those are for the foot troops. And then we have the large bases. So we've got the large base there for the um, bark speeder. And the smaller bases there are for you, four bases are for your droidicas. Now you get two droidicas, but they come in two different ways. You get the droidica that's rolled up, and you get the droidica that's um, in an attack formation. Um, one thing that I have noticed, you don't get any bags, unless they're at the bottom of the pile. I don't think there's any Ziploc bags. Okay, so um, I'm going to leave um, links to assembled miniatures um, in the video 
description uh, because I haven't physically got time to actually do this. I'm actually running quite late today. So um, this is the Bark Speeder. It's a multi-part kit. Uh, unlike a lot of the kits that you get with Legion, this isn't a push fit. Um, uh, I would imagine that you would really need to use glue on it because it's got a lot of small pieces and you can't just dry fit this together. It won't work properly. Um, now, for the first time, Legion comes with um, brand new uh, miniature option. So what we get now is um, hard styling plastic uh, miniatures as well as the old style uh, bagged miniatures. So we'll have a quick look at the bagged miniatures first. And the bagged miniatures are all the um, Grand, Grand Alliance um, the clone troopers and what have you and uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Right, so um, we have our clone troopers. Um, the attention to detail is fantastic on them. They're really good and I will get all these assembled and uh, tack another video on so we can have a quick look at them. Um, that's one of the captains. And then again, um, there's the heavies. Fantastic looking miniatures. They look really good when they're painted up. And these are perfect for um, doing the uh, contra using contrast paints. Um, Sarissa has done some amazing uh, miniature painting guides using contrast paints for um, both the clone troopers and for the Grand Army. Uh, I'm just waiting for him printing up his, uh, his Obi-Wan. Now, um, here we have Obi-Wan. I'm just going to very quickly show you Holy One's head so you can see the detail. Um, it looks just like you, McGregor. It's fantastic. Really good detail. And um, once we get um, these assembled, I'll put um, the videos up for these assembled miniatures. Okay, so um, we now have... Uh, you get um, 10 of the clone troopers. Uh, sorry. Um, 14 of the clone troopers, you get two units of seven, and you get um, one Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then for the Droidicas um, and Grievous, they are slightly different. So we have got, um, these are parts of a Droidica, and then there are parts of a Battle Droid. Now the Battle, War battle Droids um, all assemble um, exactly the same. Apparently the easiest way to do it from what Crabox has been saying and what um, Sarista is saying is to assemble the head parts which is seven and uh, F1 and F2 together. Assemble all those first before you assemble everything else. Okay, um, that's the other sprue for the Droidicas. And you can assemble them in two ways. You can have this so it's closed up so they're in a rolling position or you can have it so it's open with their arms spread out. And Basically, the droids and the droidica sprues are identical. So that's the other sprue for the battle droids. And um, they look really good. I mean, like, we'll just quickly zoom in on the... Um, where are we doing? So, as you can see, you know, the blaster rifle looks really good. A lot of good detail on them. But these are... Um, the first time that Fantasy Flight has done um, full bone plastic kits. You need to use glue to assemble these. And there's the heavy sprue with the missile launcher on it, which is quite good. Okay, so um, that's those. And then the last one we have is General Grievous. Now, Grievous um, can be assembled in different ways. You can assemble him with or without his cloak. And there's his cloak. Um, you can assemble him with a pistol or you can assemble him with either one or four, sorry, two or four lightsabers. So as you see, there is one, two, three, four, and then five, six, six lightsabers altogether. So you can have him with his arms as normal, whether double like this one, or you can have his arms split. So he's got four lightsabers because Grievous has four arms. And um, again, fantastic looking model. Um, there's Grievous's head. We'll just um, quickly zoom in on that, and then you can have a quick look at it. Great detail. And say these are the first kits that um, Fancy Flight have done. They've done a really good job on them. 
Right, so that's a quick look at the um, miniatures. Um, we've gone through everything, more or less. Um, the video link will contain a my full review of the game. Um, so uh, check that out. Also, if you are doing this for the first time and you're not used to doing um, plastic kits, I strongly recommend that you follow it step by step because um, there's a lot of very small pieces here. And if you're not used to doing plastic kits that don't just snap together and push together like these do, you might find it a little bit difficult. Right, so that's a quick look through um, Star Wars Legion of the Clone Wars uh, core box set from Fancy Fine Games. Um, once again, I'd like to thank the guys over at um, Sixes for um, their help and support with this, this review. And if you want to pick up a copy, um, it's available everywhere, but the wise money is go to Sixes to hit or be a member of the ARC Games Club. If you're a member of the ARC Games Club and you buy from Sixes to Hit, you will get this at 25% off retail discount, retail price, um, which works out a good saving and could actually give you enough money to buy another unit. Okay, um, as always, I've been Mark, and thank you for tuning in.